Hello, it's John Bradley. So, I'm going to spend the day with my heroes today. I can't quite believe it. I live quite close to Manchester United, but today I'm going to get even closer. Uh, we're going to watch training, we're going to meet some players, and I'm very, very excited. A little bit nervous, but it's going to be great. Why don't you join me? Well, here we go. Got through security, which is always a bonus. I can't believe I'm here. I, I just can't believe I'm here. Look at that. So, just uh, watching training, standing on the sidelines, ready to catch any loose balls that might come over. Never too late to start your next career, you know. Can't believe I'm here. Look at them, my heroes. Right, now here we are. The big house, the theatre of dreams. Just gonna dive in here now, just gonna hang out with some of the players for a bit, have a little bit of a chat, a little bit of a laugh. So, we're just behind the scenes, I can't talk too loud, but Chris is just doing a few little media commitments there. I'm surprised how hard the players are working, actually. They're really doing a great job of it. I think Chris is getting some Australian phrases. So, the Burnley game, Old Trafford, your first goal for Manchester United. How did that feel? It was amazing to, to score my first goal for the club. Yeah. Uh, I've been waiting, waiting for that, but uh, obviously we wanted to win the game, so uh, I was, I'm still a bit mad uh, about the points that we that we lost. But uh, the day after, I was still like a bit proud because of I course. scored my first goal. So uh, yeah, it was an amazing feeling, and I, I hope to score more. It's not a bad way to score your first goal in a game that we were behind, <clears throat> equalising to continue that yeah. unbeaten run at Old Trafford as well. No, I said yeah. So it was a good goal, but. <clears throat> Would have been better if, if it was a winning goal, but yeah. uh, striker's instinct. Exactly. Striker's yeah. instinct for goal. Well, I was the number ten before when I was younger. Oh so yeah. I, yeah. I used to know how to score goals, but nowadays it's I don't know. I don't score a lot. If you know how to score goals, you yeah. know how to stop goals. Well, I'm trying. I'm see. trying. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it's working this year. We yeah. had a fantastic season. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I want to know about the new season, like uh, a little bit, if you can tell me something about the new season. I can't tell you anything really. It's, it, it's one, of, one of those things that we just can't wait for it to be on now yeah. because we're having to slip and slide and evade these questions all the time. But nice. after seven seasons, we feel a real responsibility to get the ending right, yeah. to give the fans the ending they deserve. And we think we've done it. In terms of back home in Sweden, yeah. is, is, is Man United a phenomenon there, the same way it's a phenomenon all over the world. What team? Who, what team did you support when you were growing up? I didn't have like a, a team that I that I supported. I just liked to watch the game of football. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I didn't. I watched a lot of games when United play. Yeah. Uh, but I never really had like a team that I I supported and uh, yeah and stuff like that. But yeah. How did it feel to play with Zlatan? How did that feel? That must have been. Yeah, well, growing up uh, in Sweden, uh, everything was about Zlatan. And of course, yeah. Voices. He's a fantastic player and he's been having a great career and uh, he's won a lot of trophies and, and stuff like that. So, of course, it was uh, it was a very, very nice feeling for me to, to play with him. Yeah. Uh, first in the national team and then to to be with him here in, at the club as well because uh, you get to know him a bit better and yeah. you, can, you can train and, uh, with him every day. So, it's different than, uh, than from the national team. So, yeah, it was, it was a great honour for me and uh, yeah. Yeah, a, a great guy. There's exactly. something of the Cantona about Zlatan. Yeah, well, in terms I of his presence, that. in terms of his confidence, and just the way yeah. he can galvanise and inspire the people around him. Yeah, there's I'm trying to find the right word in, in English, but yeah. that's that aura, that, that charisma. Yeah, the yeah, aura. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Pleasure to see you, mate. Done. I'm going to go and do more stuff, right? 
Hello, here I am. Never felt quite so comfortable standing in front of a big white wall. But I'm here, it's because I'm here with Wes Brown and I'm here with Joe Godalo. And we've just done some stuff for MUTV that you can watch very soon. Top lads, top lads. I think, yeah, if, if it's for me, I think that it'd be a, a player that you don't really get that much of anymore. I mean, there are always going to be more and more flair players all the time, more yeah. players who can do the spectacular and the unexpected. But I think that, that a player like a Brian Robson or, or a Roy Keane, yeah. they're players that, that don't seem to be quite so... They're, they're managers on the pitch. Basically. Yeah, they're managers on the pitch. And, and, and young lads are always going to be attracted more to being a flair player. Yeah. Yeah. And, I, and I think that the way football's going, you're going to get a lot more of that. Well, gonna... Like you said, the football is changing too. And yeah. that way that the Roy Keane plays, yeah. I think that you don't have you don't have so much players now playing like that. No. Here we are, down in the bells of Old Trafford. Look who I've come against. Davos de Gea here. <laughs> My friend David. How are you? I'm good, man. good? Yeah, everything's great. Always good to see you. Yeah. My man. Well, that's me done. Thanks so much for watching. What a day. And now my watch is ended.